بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہم رب الزدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین We should be humble and we should be kind Trignometry lecture 1 These are the topics in our syllabus Identities Sketches Evaluate without using the calculator solutions of trigonometry equations Let's begin with the identities So this is the identity which is in our syllabus sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 uh, the admin the students have done these two other identities they have done this identity and this identity as well so if they want they can use these identities in P1 as well well we can make sin square theta subject from this identity by writing 1 minus cos square theta on the other side similarly we can make cos square theta the subject by shifting sin square theta on the other side because we would need these things while solving the questions of identities we can further factor we can factorize in fact this right hand side by using the formula a square minus b square so the factorized form of 1 minus cos square theta is 1 minus cos theta 1 plus cos theta similarly we can factorize this 1 minus sin square theta as 1 minus sin theta 1 plus sin theta because we would need these forms of the identities while solving the questions of identities well we have these formula tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta and 1 upon tan theta is cos theta upon sin theta and you all know this formula a, a square minus b square is a minus b a plus b Add math students have done these reciprocal functions as well. Cosec theta is 1 upon sine theta. Sec theta is 1 upon uh, cos theta. And they have done this as well. Cot theta is 1 upon tan theta. So they can use any method for proving the identities. Well, these are some important points regarding the identities. While proving the identities, follow the following tips. Number one, always take the complicated side. Usually left hand side is the complicated side. Number two, do not expand the bracket unless you simplify the functions inside the bracket. So never expand the bracket unless you simplify the function inside the bracket. Always simplify the functions first and then expand the bracket. This will make your calculation simple. Try to apply this formula. Number four, in case of fractions, first simplify both the numerator and denominator and then take the LCM. Don't take the LCM unless you simplify numerator and denominator. Try to apply this formula, the completed square form. Since we have plus sign here, therefore there is a plus sign. What if we had negative here? Then this would be negative. Like in this question, let's suppose this sign is negative. So this must be negative. But right now this is positive, so I'm writing this as positive sign. Since this is plus, so this must be plus. If this was minus, then this was, would be minus. Next point is, always replace. And let me correct this point. Try to replace. 1 by sin square theta plus cos square theta this is the identity one is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta Trigonometric identities. 
for practice uh, for your practice i'm solving this identity this is one of the most important identity so we can solve this identity as sin x minus cos x sin x plus cos x i'm using a square minus b square formula in the numerator now i have to replace this one by sin square theta plus cos square theta so sin square x 2 sin x cos x copied and cos square x i have replaced this one by sin square x plus cos square x now i have to uh, use i have to factorize the denominator in fact so sin x minus cos x sin x plus cos x this is the numerator and by factorizing the denominator we have sin x plus cos x whole power 2 well uh we have to cancel this power 2 with this uh, sin x plus cos x things now uh, since we need uh, tan x in the answer this is very important while proving the identities make sure you observe the answer carefully because we prove identities with respect to answer since we need tan x in the answer therefore we have to convert these things into the form of tan so we have sin x in numerator minus cos x in denominator we have sin x plus cos x well since we need a tan x therefore we need to divide each and every term by cos x because tan x is sin x upon cos x we can do this in identities so uh the numerator will become tan x minus 1 and denominator will become tan x plus 1 this is the way you can prove the identity let me show you this solution again sorry i wrongly close the file let me check the correct file i think this is the correct file yeah so this is the solution of the identity you can see this from right from the beginning second last step is very important you can also prove this identity uh, i'm leaving this question for you all you can prove this later and let me change this question for all of you in uh, p1 we won't get questions of these types so let me write this question as it's sin x upon tan x this is the question and you have to prove this as uh, uh, cos x so by taking left hand side we have sin x upon tan x you all note 1 upon tan x is uh, cos x upon sin x so copy the sin x and this 1 upon tan is cos x upon sin x so the answer is cos x and shown sketches the next topic basic functions these are three basic functions sin x cos x and tan x to sketch uh, these sketches of the above functions can either be drawn manually or by using the calculator those who are used to with calculator they should use uh, they should follow their own method the calculator method and those who are used to uh, manually they should sketch manually so important points regarding these sketches always remember to label the axis take same widths on the axis this means 
if you are taking this is 90 so this must be 180 if you are taking this is 1 so this must be 2 you need to take equal widths on the axis draw a proper curve sketch yeah you need to draw a proper sketch for that you need to hold the pencil from the top with a smooth hand calculate the intervals with using the following formula well in order to sketch a curve or any curve you need to first get the intervals for example these intervals you must know the values of these intervals so if the period is uh, let's suppose 180 then intervals will be p upon 4 meaning 180 upon 4 which means 45 degrees so this number must be 45 this must be 90 135 and 180 this is the way we get the intervals never change the given domain while sketching the functions we never change the domain we always sketch the function according to the given domain and domain means the range of values of x or theta let's suppose this is the domain then you can never change the domain and you must not change the domain leave the domain as it is this x means domain the range of values of for horizontal axis Calculate the period. Uh, you must know the formula of period for sine and cos. This is the formula of the period for sine and this is the for, uh, for, for sine and cos in fact. This formula is in degrees and this formula is in radians. And this formula uh, is used for both sine and cos. This is fixed 360 because the period of sine and cos uh, are 360 and in radians it is 2 pi. So make sure you always use this formula to find the period of sine and cos. But the uh, formula for uh, period of tan is 180 upon b because the period of tan is 180 degree. In terms of radians, it is pi upon b. Sketch the given curve according to the given domain. I already have told you, sketch the curve according to the given domain, never change the domain. Join consecutive points by means of a smooth curve. So these uh, were some important points regarding the sketches of trigonometric functions. Uh, we have some more points. For a proper smooth curve, use a sharp pencil uh, for the sketches holding the pencil from the top. This is top. Well, for the negative amplitudes, well, amplitudes are not negative. For the negative uh, coefficients, this is in fact coefficient. Like this. For negative coefficients, draw inverted curves. This, see, this is minus 2. So you have to draw an inverted curve. like this this is the inverted curve for positive coefficient draw the normal curve like this be careful about the power of the functions it is more convenient to construct a table for the values of the given function by using the calculator this is for power 2 for power 2 it is more convenient to construct a table for the values of the given function by using the calculator be careful regarding the mode of the calculator if the given domain is in radians then your calculator must be in radian mode For two sketches on the same diagram, draw the complicated sketch first and then draw the easy sketch later. In case of a straight line, 
function construct the table for the function according to the given domain for example if we have to sketch this line pi minus x over pi then we need to get the values from the given domain let's suppose the domain is 0 to 2 pi you need to write first value the last value and the middle value so when you will put 0 here you will get 1 when you will pi you will get uh, 0 when you will put 2 pi you will get minus 1 now you can sketch this line so always take the values in the table from the domain this is the domain you need at least three two values if you take three values that is good sketches y is equal to sin x this is for this domain 0 to 360 well uh, this is the uh, amplitude amplitude is the distance from the axis to the maximum point or minimum point this is also amplitude this is also one and amplitude is distance it can never be negative so the amplitude of this curve is a one and this is the range of the curve minus one to one it's mentioned here range means the values of the vertical coordinate like y y is equal to cos x this is the standard curve of cos and you can draw this curve by uh, either taking by taking the points by taking the values from calculator because cos 0 is 1 cos 90 is 0 cos 180 is minus 1 cos 270 is 0 and cos 360 is 1 so you can either draw this man manually or you can use a calculator and you can just get the values from the calculator tan x well this is the standard curve of tan x and you must know uh, this is one complete curve of tan because the period of tan is 180 so these are two tan curves and make sure you uh, plot the points you mark the points on the right at the right uh, uh, place this is 45 and 45 is 1 so this is the point so mark the points carefully this is the first point this is the second point the third point fourth point fifth point sixth point and seventh point and the range of tan is minus infinite to infinite or you can write this y can take all real values this is y can take all real values I will discuss the remaining part of the sketches in my next lecture because uh, it's Azan is going on. So I'm stopping this lecture here and I will continue this lecture in my, uh, I will discuss these things in my next lecture inshallah. Uh, we should be soft. Allah Hafiz.